So years ago, doing squats, I hurt my shoulders pretty bad, actually. And ever since then, I've been kind of scared of uh, scared of doing squats. Then uh, I started seeing these squat bars, yoke bars, whatever they call them, with any kind of squat bar with the handles on it. I'm like, hey, I can squat without hurting my shoulders, right? Look at the price, they're pretty expensive. So I've been looking around, I was looking at the Dave Draper top squat thing. That thing's kind of on the pricey side to just pop on a bar. So got to looking around, got to thinking, going to the hardware stores, looking at this and that. And I figured out a way to do a squat bar at home for around $23. So for this DIY safety squat bar, you're gonna need, of course, an Olympic barbell. <clears throat> this is an old one. Uh, it's, an, it's a cheap one. It actually does weigh 45 pounds though. And next thing you're gonna need, I found these at Lowe's. It's called a single socket T black because it's painted black. Got two of those and two of these 12 inch pieces of uh, three quarter inch pipe. And then one of these, which is an insulator for water pipes so it doesn't freeze during the winter. This is like $2. So the total of it was $22.70, I think. So we'll just say under $23. And the first thing I'm gonna have to do is undo this Allen head here, which is what I've got the pliers here for to hold it, because I don't have a vise, and that. So that's gonna be the first thing thing I do. All right, there goes nothing. You get a good tight hold on these. Oh. <clears throat> That's on there pretty good. Let's see if I can hold it. There we go. Just a little bit of convincing. Oh, well, maybe not. Have to do something different. All right, I have what we call in the South a cheater bar. Get the bike, good grip with that. Something came loose. Yep, there it goes. All right. see what's inside these El Cheapo bars. On the more expensive ones, there's just like a series of uh, bearings and whatnot. I think this. Eh, there's some bearings in there. All right, next step. Uh, like this. Let's uh, see, this is three quarter inches and it just does fit over here but you gotta unscrew it it goes on with set screws so we're gonna loosen these off and slide it on uh, it gets a little finicky here around the knurling but you can get it on there Deciding the placement, this is where the knurling ends on mine. I'm going to put it just over that, where it just goes in. And then I'll tighten that down, put the other one on, then put these bars on, and it'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, I should also note that I found these pieces uh, in the plumbing section, but it looks to me more like they're used for the decorative black iron furniture that uh, seems to be pretty popular now. And uh, I don't know how strong this is, but considering it's steel, it should be pretty strong. It's not like there's gonna be actually weight placed on these. These are just handles to stabilize it. So you do this at your own risk. Hey. 
and it's down pretty good. We'll open up the next one. Now you want to make sure you get these lined up right. You don't want one handle to be here and the other one be like this. So you want them one big level. All right, this one. You get a little finicky when it gets on the knurling. Um, I suppose if you wanted to, since it's going to be a squat bar now, there's not going to be much need for the knurling anyway. You could probably take a grinder if uh, the knurling on yours is on the aggressive side. Make sure this is, leaves are level, even. The knurling on yours is, is on the aggressive side. You could take a grinder and grind it down. Next up, the handles. Easy peasy. Screw it with the Allen. Put it in right there. Now you want to get these really tight because you don't want them to work loose. And truthfully, you would probably probably be smart to get some uh, Loctite. I would say blue Loctite if you ever plan on taking it apart. Blue Loctite will come apart easier or come loose easier. Because you got to think, you know, if you put a good load on this, this is going to flex a little bit and could make maybe make the screw back off. Slide this back on. All right, the washers go here. And y'all get a good look at my sexy belly. I'm not built for speed. <laughs> You want to tighten this up good too because you don't want to lose a stack of plates three four five hundred pounds because your screw is loose there you have it Oops. knocked myself in the head there you have it right there it's a little wide you can uh you can do your squats this is where the next part uh, these uh, handles make it a little awkward. This is where this comes in. Eyeball it. And then cut it. If you want to. Which my cut's not even. It's a little tight tight. This has a little Peel and stick material right here. Undo that. I actually probably should have done that after I have it on the bar. All this chaos. Ah. Spread it open a little bit. Other side of the peel and stick. Peel that off, and these two ends will stick together. You could take some, uh, you could take some electric tape, duct tape, whatever, if you wanted to, and put around it. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take maybe, I don't know, four inches maybe. Just have a little padding. right there on the part that might be going into my shoulder. And I haven't pre-tested this, so I don't know how that's gonna work. But. Uh, they make corner cut pieces of this stuff that's already comes at a an angle. So if you wanted to try that, you could, but it's more expensive. I think just one of those corner cut or angle cut pieces is just as much as this whole tube of this insulation. Peel and stick. 
Doesn't have to be perfect. And home gym hacks, I guess. Peel one side, peel the other side. There you go. And I have biggish hands and this right here fits just right. So awkward as hell. Oh yeah, that feels much better. And truthfully, it doesn't really need these pads here since I've, this other one slipped off. Boom. And you can squat and you're not throwing your shoulder out of alignment. So I'll take that up and uh, show a little demonstration of it. Before I tape it up, well, I guess I got to use that pool noodle. But before I tape it up, I just want to show you what it looks like. And that's how you can. Breathe a little new life in your wore out El Cheapo bar. So, there it is. I'm going to tape it up and show you a video of me using it. Here it is. Uh, it's already done up. The, uh, I ended up not putting the taping, the padding onto here. I've got it, really, I've got it just a little too wide, so I'll need to bring those in a little bit. But uh, all in all, it feels great. Uh, I can squat again. I haven't squatted regularly in a very long time because hurt my shoulders and I didn't like the feeling of squatting. So any of my leg exercises would be leg extensions, leg presses, leg curls, calf raises, anything with squatting. And now I can squat again and did it with an old bar that was given to me and $23 and I'm ready to go again. So. Hope you enjoy. Hope this is some use to you. Uh, if you like the video, please share. Uh, get the word out for uh, the home gym enthusiast. And uh, have a good day.